Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to build out this Ubuntu system as an emulator platform to emulate games. Um, this is a little different than what I would normally do with this channel, but I have a feeling that there's probably a bunch of, bunch of people out there that would really like to know how to do this. So I'm going to show you specifically how to do this with a Ubuntu system, make it really easy for you to follow with uh, a visual here, as well as adding all the commands in the description uh, with a breakdown as to what each one of them do. Uh, and if you follow this, it should make it really straightforward for you to install um, all these different gaming platforms in order to actually run the system. So, you know, use your Ubuntu system to run Wii games, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, NES, Sega Genesis, um, and then emulate the games. You can use a variety of controllers. Most of them have uh, controller support. Most of them work really well. Um, and honestly, if you have an old piece of hardware laying around, um, like a second gen i5 or something like that, basically a machine that you could pick up for 35 bucks, you could run all of these different gaming platforms on those systems because the majority of these systems don't really require much. PlayStation 3 may require a little bit more, but in reality, most of those games are huge anyway, so you're probably not going to play too much on here. And it would make more sense to just go out and buy a PlayStation 3 to run a PlayStation 3 game just because the games themselves are about 10 gigs a piece. All right, so without just rambling on endlessly here, let's, uh, let's get down into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to specifically start this out with installing the Xbox emulator. So Xbox's emulator um, will run the original Xbox games. This is not Xbox 360. This is not Xbox One. Those systems use ActiveX controllers. Um, ActiveX controllers do not play well with Linux. Chances are those will never be emulated on a Linux platform. Um, the original Xbox was more or less built on a Linux platform, and that's why you could use it on an emulated Linux system. But the 360 and the One, and now the One Plus, or whatever the heck Microsoft's calling the next one, those all use ActiveX controllers and likely will requ require a Windows-based platform if you were ever going to emulate them. All right, so to do the Xbox install, <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the, um, the location where the repository exists. So you're gonna do sudo add apt repository ppa m b o r g e r s o n x e m u. Great. Installed. I'm gonna clear that. Now we're gonna do uh, sudo apt get install sudo apt get update all right we've updated the package list i'm gonna go back again we're gonna do sudo apt get install xemu all right it's already installed newest version great it's installed done clear next so next one we're going to install is the playstation 3 emulator um I just throw this out here that it will work for PlayStation 3 games. The games are enormous. Um, you're gonna have to rip them to your system. There are ways to do that. You could locate other locations on the web to find out how to do that. I don't believe in pirating games. So if you're going to do that, um, that's at your own risk. Uh, but in order to run those games, it's just sudo snap install rpcs3-emu. Great. Uh, once that's done, it'll run through the installer, finish, done. So the next one we're going to install is we're going to install the emulator for Nintendo Entertainment System and Sega Genesis. To do that, we're going to install Higgin. It's just sudo apt get install Higgin. Great. Once it's done, you'll go through it. It'll prompt you for yes to continue. You'll, you'll hit Y for yes or enter for uh, yes. Um, both are options. Uh, once it finishes out, you'll get back to the, the prompt. You'll type in clear, go back to the prompt again. Now we're going to install Dolphin. This is the emulator that you would use for um, your Wii. So the thing about the Nintendo Wii is uh, all these games you could play, uh, with the Wii at least, the, the disc will actually run. Um, you could run them in um, VMware. You could run them in Hypervisor. Um, 
you, you could pretty much run them um, in anything. Uh, that said, you could also rip those games back. Uh, again, you could locate videos or locate help on how to do that, but uh, I don't believe in pirating, so uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That said, um, you can rip those games back, and you could play them off of your system as, in an emulated format. The thing that you'll need is you'll need the light bar. So there's a company out there, Dolphin specifically, uh, works for the company. You could find them on Amazon. Um, you put the bar in front of you, use a regular Wii remote, you'll do the calibration on the controller. Once that's all set, you could use the Wii remote for either a mouse or you could use the Wii remote to run your games. Um, or you could use the Wii remote for other games outside of the Wii platform. Um, it'll work fine with all of that stuff. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, you're going to need space. You can't be sitting physically in front of it. And while you can play games that re require that particular remote, uh, if there's certain functions like uh, in, in Mario, for instance, you shake the controller, that motion controller requires that you have the, uh, the Wiimote and that it's calibrated. If not, it will not work correctly. And that may become difficult on certain boards uh, to play those games without that functionality. So at any rate, to install it, um, it's pretty easy. You just sudo snap install dolphin. hyphen emulator edge once it goes through that it'll prompt you for yes or enter to continue you'll do yes or enter to continue once it's finished you get back to the, the flashing cursor clear that now we're back now we're gonna have to install the Wii controller uh, configuration itself to do that uh, sudo apt get install lib c w i i d one l s w m m w m gui so i n put and enter yes to continue drivers installed for your input now you need to install the uh input modules themselves so we're going to do sudo echo U I N P U T into the Etsy modules location. Great. Now sudo mod probe U input done. Great. So now the sudo uh, or sorry the Wii controller has been installed. All right. So now that we got Wii configured, let's jump back. Um, now we're going to install. Uh, any uh, the Super Nintendo emulator or Zenes to do that uh, it's just sudo apt get install um, Zenes oops sorry it's Z S N E S or Super Nintendo Entertainment System I apologize so prompted, hit yes, we'll install the Super Nintendo emulator. Okay, it's installed, clear, go back to the top of the, the, uh, the screen here for you. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the N64 emulator. So it's sudo apt get install um, M U P E N 64 plus dash Q T. Great. Yes, install. Okay, clear. Back to the top of the prompt. Now, again, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 are big games. Uh, I leave this up to you if you want to try them or not. Your call. Um, but to install PlayStation 2 emulator, we'll do sudo add apt repository ppa gregory pcsx2.official ppa and if you don't misspell it chances are it'll work
like I did, which should be H A I. Enter to continue. Great, done, clear. So now we got to install the actual PS2 emulator itself. So to do that, sudo apt get update. Clear. And we're going to do sudo apt get install PCSX2. Yes to continue. Okay, so now um, we're going to install the Game Boy Advance one as well. So let's clear this out. Let's go to uh, sudo snap install Visual Boy Advance dash M data. So that's going to install Visual Boy, which is just an offshoot. It's basically the Game Boy Advanced emulator. So I apologize because usually the snap packages take a little longer to install. That's just part of Linux. It does take a lot of uh, manual operation out of the requirements. You don't have to do as much with the snap packages as you usually have to do with the flat pack. So um, once this finishes installing, we're going to do clear on this as get again. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to install RetroArch. Um, so this actually gives you the ability to run a variety of different games. Um, however, in experience with using it it's not always the best one to use so that's why we have included all the other ones in this installation video but to install retroarch we'll just do uh, sudo apt install software properties common apt transport https dash y Okay, clear that. And then we'll do sudo add apt repository PPA. Perfect. And sudo apt get install retro arch. Clear that as well. Sudo apt get update again. Exit. All right, so now that we got all these different emulators installed, if you click the little button here for show applications, you'll see them all listed here. So this is your, your Wii uh, controller configuration. Uh, this is your N64 emulator, your PlayStation 2 emulator, NES, uh, PS3. Um, this is your uh, uh, Game Boy Advanced. And then RetroArch plays a variety of different ones as well. And then your emulator for your Wii as well. So this is how you could use this system to basic, basically be your, um, your emulator platform to play all these old school games. Um, again, I'm not big on uh, taking games and pirating them. So if you don't own these titles already, I would suggest that you go out and buy the title. Um, and then if you want to convert it, that's up to you. But 
I, I would recommend you buy the title. There's a lot of people out there that put in the time and effort to develop these games so that way you have a platform to play. And if you keep taking these games off the internet free of charge and not paying for them, then what happens is eventually these companies that produce these wonderful games go out of business. And one of the, one of the best ones that I've ever played uh, under was Sierra Games, which is long gone. And it's a shame because they, they produced some excellent titles. They're at this point, I would call abandonware. Um, you could use DOSBox to emulate that as well, uh, which, um, or just run them straight on Windows. In a lot of cases, they wor still work on Windows 10. Uh, but that's the company that created things like uh, Police Quest and King's Quest. Um, they created uh, Empire Earth. Uh, they are probably one of the best gaming companies that, in my opinion, that ever existed. And it's a shame that they're gone. So if you don't own the uh, licenses, buy the licenses for the games first. And if you want to rip them into a different format then, then play them on a different system, that's a different story. But I would highly suggest that you, um, that you purchase the game so at least then we can continue and uh, enjoy these games long into the future. Uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out if you're looking for a way to emulate the games and looking for a way to have some fun um, uh, by emulating uh, a variety of different systems onto a small system. Uh, like, like and subscribe if, uh, if I could produce any other videos or content or anything for you guys. Feel free to reach out. I'll put in the description all of the connect configurations on these to get these to correctly work. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a line. And uh, wish you guys all the best, and thanks for watching.